All right, good morning, everybody. My name is Elena Campbell. I'm president of the Rochester Regional Chamber of Commerce. Thank you for joining us this afternoon to learn about the Oakland County Rochester Hills Restaurant Reimbursement Fund, our program. It is my great pleasure to introduce our speaker today. Uh, Pamela Valentic is the Manager of Economic Development for the City of Rochester Years of Rochester Hills for almost 10 years. Yeah. Right, Pamela? Yes, in um, maybe 10 years. That's what that's what I thought. Um, she was an economic. <laughs> yeah. uh, she was also an economic development specialist for the city of Troy, um, and a business consultant for the Macomb County Planning and uh, and Economic Development Department. She has a BA from Grand Valley State University. Go Lakers! And we were extremely honored to have Pamela join the Chamber's Board of Directors in 2020, uh, just in time for all the fun, I like to tell her. <laughs> <laughs> so we are so honored to have Pamela here with us. We work very closely with Pamela as we do uh, with the entire staff at the City of Rochester Hills. So Pamela, take it away. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. And, um, you know, a huge thanks to um, Elena and Maggie and, and just the chamber as a whole for um, your partnership um, through these last this last year. I mean, none of this could be done by one individual entity or organization. And, um, you know, so many times we've heard over the last year we're in this together. So the more we can work together to to support our businesses, to find out what they really need, um, you know, and, and try and get them the resources that they need, um, you know, the better off we're, we're all going to be as, as business owners and as a community and so forth. So thank you very much um, for hosting me today. Um, today we're going to be talking about um, just one program that um, is um, kind of unique and very cool and very specific the Oakland County Rochester Hills uh, Restaurant Relief Grant Program. Um, we know, and um, Oakland County knows that probably one of the hardest hit industries um, this past year has been our food establishment industry. Um, whether you're a restaurant or a bar, cafe, anything like that, it's been it's been a very difficult year, and it's it, it's a combination of things. You know, whether it's just um, the safety protocols that you must follow to um, any type of, of shutdowns to just even your workforce being willing and comfortable to work and retain that workforce or attract more um, new employees and just even just consumers behavior, you know, are our customers ready to come out and eat and, you know, are they more comfortable eating outside or are they comfortable eating indoors or are they looking more for carry out or what. So, um, you know, it, it's definitely been a very difficult year for them. We know that, we hear that, um, you know, and we want to stay tuned to the restaurants and, and hear more about what your needs are gonna be over the next few months. But it really is those restaurants um, that had the in-dining services that relied on that um, as a big part of their business of having customers come in and sit down and have a meal or or have a drink or you know happy hour of beverage and so forth you know to lose those capabilities has really been so um difficult on them and that's what this program is specifically set up for um so this was actually established by oakland county um board of commissioners um a, a huge thank you to Oakland County, they really have, um, I think from an economic development standpoint, they really have stepped up this last year and tried to identify a number of different programs to help the businesses. There have been, um, I, I think there's been four other grant programs before this program. Um, so I'm, I'm glad to, to hear that Oakland County is really 
putting some financial resources out there to help the businesses. And this is just another one of those grant programs that the Oakland County um, Executive, uh, Dave Coltier and, and Board of Commissioners has approved. So specifically with this program, um, about $3 million was, was identified for this program. And again, it's specifically for restaurants, bars, and cafes. Um, and it comes in the form of either grant dollars or specific products to be able to assist restaurants in maintaining safe dining areas. Um, the, the, a little different approach with this program, whereas other grant programs that Oakland County has done in the past, is that the businesses would apply to Oakland County directly and they would, um, Oakland County would, would distribute those funds. Um, and in fact, you know, to kind of speak specifically about Rochester Hills, through all of those previous grant programs, um, about 90 businesses in Rochester Hills did receive funding from Oakland County, which totaled about $425,000. So, so we're excited to see grant dollars coming into our community. This program's a little different in regards to, it was administered through the CVT program. Um, whereas the cities were responsible to apply for the dollars um, that would be allocated to our community. And then if awarded, it was up to us, the city, to be able to create um, a process to be able to uh, take in applications from our own restaurants, bars, and cafes, and then to disperse those funds. So um, at the beginning of the year, we did submit our application and we were awarded $110,000 for us to distribute to our businesses. So um, again, with this program, Oakland County has created most, um, if ever, not all of the criteria for the program. It's still our responsibility as the city to follow Oakland County's criteria in terms of eligibility and, um, and timing and so forth. But um, where, where this program again is, is different is you will be applying directly to the city of Rochester Hills, and then we will be the one dispersing the funds. So um, if it's okay, Elena, can I share my screen? You're on mute, so I think you said yes. You should be. Yep. <laughs> Okay, so um, hopefully somebody will give me a thumbs up if they see the uh, title screen. Awesome. Okay, so um, so again, you're going to be applying directly to us, and this um, this link below is the address for the application. It's an online application, and if you go to this link, you'll be able to complete the application right there. Um, and what, what I can do too is um, I'm happy to, uh, at the end of the program, I'll, I'll share this link again and you'll have my email address. You can always um, send me an email if you're having difficulty getting into this application. Um, I'm happy to walk you through that. So, so I thought I'd kind of spend some time talking about who is eligible. Again, the target for this is restaurants, bars, and cafes that do have full or limited in-dining service. Um, the business must be located in Rochester Hills um, because our funding was specific to our community. Um, if you're in Rochester, Rochester had their own program um, and you would want to connect with them. But from my understanding, Rochester um, elected to buy product and disperse it to their businesses and their program is closed. So they, they started their program ahead of ours. We decided to focus on, um, on what I would say, giving out cash and, and reimbursing for eligible expenses. So, so again, the, the business must be located in Rochester Hills. And if the um, expenditures that you're looking to be reimbursed for have to do with any kind of outdoor dining. We do require that you have secured some sort of a permit 
for that dining to make sure that it's that you've set it up in a safe fashion and and um that that anyone that has questions about that we can talk about that more but um there are two there are two permits if you're actually maintaining a, a permanent outdoor dining area then there is that permit but if you just set up temporary outdoor dining maybe some some tables and chairs you know in on your sidewalk or, or anything like that then that would have followed fell under the covid special permit but we do ask that you have secured those permits one thing i want to kind of talk about is who is not eligible um, so when Oakland County um, Board of Commissioners established the program, again, they really wanted to focus in on those, those food establishments that were struggling because of that loss of being able to have in-dining services. So um, food establishments that have a drive-through are not considered eligible. Any type of an establishment that has zero or limited dine-in presence is not eligible. Um, uh, really, what what they're kind of trying to avoid is establishments where their primary operation appears to be takeout um, or or delivery, and then obviously businesses that are located outside of Rochester Hills, and also um, businesses that are permanently closed. So again, the focus is is on businesses that are still in operation. Um, again, this is a reimbursement grant, the way that the county has, has set it up. So you will, um, you will need to submit receipts. Um, but I thought I would share a little bit about what are some of the eligible expenditures that are allowed under this program. Um, first and foremost, obviously, is any kind of outdoor furniture or fixtures. So this might be if you purchased or had to rent a tent, or if you, you bought igloos, or uh, set up a greenhouse, or you purchased new, new tables, um, or uh, heaters, propane heaters, or anything like that, um, or door pulls, you know, those would be eligible expenses. Um, if you had to construct a dining area, let's say you, you constructed some type of a ramp or you had to construct railings to be able to enclose the area, those materials um, would be covered. Uh, any type of signage, if you, if you had to get A-frame signs or you purchased temporary signage to be able to direct people of where to go um, or that you were open, um, or where to do pick up or anything like that, that would be an eligible expense. Another one that I think a lot of businesses have incurred, you know, definitely in the last year that can get very expensive is technology related expenses. Um, especially with if you had to go over to more of a carry out system or you had to um, invest in your website to be able to allow for online ordering or anything like that, you know, those are eligible expenses. Um, and any other PPE supplies that you had to purchase because you were still maintaining some level of, of dining services, whether it was sanitizer or gloves or, or masks or um, wipes or, or sanitation stations, anything like that those would be eligible expenses. And the other thing too that, that the county's included in this is any labor that may have been associated with the items. So perhaps you had to um, you know, hire somebody to put the tent up or to install some type of um, railings or, or anything like that. That labor can be included in your request for reimbursement. Um, the, um, the requirement with these expenses is that the purchases had to be um, during a specific timeline, which kind of coincides with Oakland County's, I think, fiscal year, but the purchases had to be between July 1st of 2020 and June 15th of this year. And you must submit a paid receipt to actually receive the award funding. Um, 
so I'll say when we talk about purchases going up until June 15th, um, if you are in the process of maybe um, building out your outdoor seating area or you're in the process of updating your, your, your point of sale system and you don't have a paid receipt for that, what you can do in your application is you can include a copy of the invoice or something from the supplier or the contractor that helps to kind of identify what is the cost of that. And then that can be wrapped into your total request. Just understand that we will need to see a paid receipt before we can disperse the funds for those, those items that you're still in the process of purchasing. So the timeline for this, the application is open now. We just opened it last week um, and we thought we would give businesses a good month to be able to just kind of get together all your receipts and get the word out. Thank you, Chamber, for hosting this event. Um, but the, we will be closing the applications on April 16th. Um, our hope is within the, the, the following week to be able to review all of the applications that we've received, verify eligibility, verify that we have either receipts or invoices to be able to support the requests and then recipients will be notified um, on or by May 1st and then the awards will be distributed um, sometime around May 15th or a little bit after that. Uh, the, the agreement that we had to sign with, with Oakland County is that the program concludes on June 30th so therefore all of the money has to be distributed by June 30th, or we, the city, have to return it to Oakland County. And I can tell you, we do not want to return any money to Oakland County. So I encourage you to complete the application, submit your receipts, um, and work with us and, and share with us your timelines and so forth, because we want to make sure that you're, if you're eligible, that you get get what you're what you're eligible for, and that we get that money out to our businesses. We don't want to return it, so we don't want to go into Auburn Hills or anything like that. So. There is limited product available too. So one of the things that the county had offered to us when we applied for the program is the county had acquired a couple different um, PPE supplies of their own that they would make available to communities or um, for us to ultimately give out to businesses. Um, knowing that we really wanted to focus on um, reimbursing businesses, we made the majority of our award in um, a cash request so that we can get that money out to the businesses. But we do have, um, we do have two items, limited stock, um, and I included some pictures here. On, on the left is a picture of the sanitation station. Um, we have two of those. And then on the right, we have what I think is probably looks like the coolest thing in the world, um, an electrostatic sanitizer sprayer. And then it comes with five gallons of sanitation solution. So, um, basically, the way it's been described to me is it's probably like the coolest water gun you've ever seen, except it just sprays sanitizer, you know, over your outdoor tables or, or, or anything like that. So, um, and we have about five of that. Um, what, what, we're, what we've done is we've, if you're interested in those product, it is, um, it's included on the application. So there is within the application, when you go into the application, it will ask you if you want any product. Um, we obviously with the limited quantity, we can only give one per business, but um, I, I'm just gonna be honest. Um, I, I doubt very highly that everybody will get a product. However, um, that will be something that if businesses want it, put it in your request. And when the um, grant committee reviews it, then they can definitely um, make the determination of who will be receiving um, the product. And we'll be delivering this to the businesses as well. 
Um, so kind of just, um, you know, wrapping it up um, again, here is the link to the application. It is online. Um, I will say this, uh, you do not have the ability to save it and come back to work on it. So um, I thought I would kind of share with you some of the things that are probably good for you to be able to have on hand before you get started. Um, obviously, like I said, any receipts that you have for your um, expenditures, you're going to actually be able to attach them right there um, into the application. We do ask for um, the number of jobs that your, your restaurant um, had how many people you had in employment before and after COVID. It kind of helps us to be able to gauge workforce activity as well. Um, what are your hours of operation, your tax ID number, and then do you own the building or do you lease the building? Um, none, of, none of that is, is necessarily um, weighed into the decision, but it is information that we're trying to collect on some of the businesses and so forth so that we can report it to Oakland County for their, their metrics. So, um, and then also when you get down into the application, it will give you the breakdown of all of the different categories of eligible expenses. And what you'll do is you'll actually enter the dollar amount next to each item or category that you're looking to be reimbursed for. And then you'll attach those receipts and if you have any outdoor dining, we encourage you to include pictures of it as well um, so that we can kind of see what you're doing. Um, I will say that the max award is $10,000 per business. Um, so you, um, you, know, you may have receipts that exceed that. Unfortunately, under Oakland County's guidelines, we're not able to award anything more than $10,000. Um, and uh, also with this, um, you know, we're hoping to be able to work with our businesses that received any kind of product or funding that um, if there is any marketing opportunities, certainly we want to try and promote our businesses, but we do ask that you be aware that that we or Oakland County may ask to reach out to you to see if you'd be willing to share a story or an experience or, or make a statement about how helpful this program was. So um, I can stop sharing unless you want me to leave my uh, leave the uh, my email address on there. You're, you're, you're more than welcome if you have questions at a later time to email me or call me. Um, but uh, I guess I'll take questions at this time. Uh, thank you so much, Pam. I did type in the chat box um, the uh, address for the application and then also Pamela's email address. Um, and then um, so that's there. I would go, uh, a suggestion I would make is go to the link for the application. Um, you can scroll through it before you start filling it out. You can scroll through it and you can read all of the questions and you can gather all of your stuff together, um, you know, prior to starting the application since you can't save it and go back to it. Um, but you can certainly view the application and get everything ready. Um, and then once you've got everything collected, you can go through and um, actually fill it out. Um, so with that, if anybody has any questions, you can, we have a small group, so feel free to unmute yourself and ask your question, or if you want to type it in the chat box, that's fine too. Crickets, as they say. So Pam, that means you did such a great job explaining. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully they're all so busy working on their application right now that they just can't type in and talk at the same time. But right, right. Um, I, I will do on here um, because I have no shame. Um, but if you know, for any of our restaurants or business owners that are on this, you know, if you're not a member of the chamber, I'm really going to encourage you to join the chamber. Um, I mean, it's programs like this that we do in partnership with um with the chamber you know but 
I, I, I mean, through all of the different grant programs that Oakland County has done or the Small Business Administration or the Michigan Economic Development Corporation, you know, the, the terms of these programs change sometimes on the daily and programs get announced and sometimes there's a short window to apply. And I can tell you that the Rochester Regional Chamber has just been fantastic about getting information out to businesses um, so quickly and being available to answer questions. I guarantee you your, your other restaurant friends that are in other communities don't have anywhere near of as amazing a chamber as, as we do here in Rochester Hills. So um, I know that um, sometimes it's, it's kind of tough to be able to find the funds in today's times to be able to join a chamber, but I can tell you that you are going to definitely get a fantastic return on your investment by joining the chamber right now because so much of their efforts is really focused to be able to listen to what you need to get that word out to us, the government, to make sure that we're doing the things that you need and being and just get rolling out whatever programs are of benefit to you. So um, join the chamber. <laughs> Thank you, Pam. Thank you, Pam. I'll, I'll give you your check later. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, 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 no. No, you're such I a think great person. I might be on this call. You did not give me a chance. <laughs> I know, I know. So I did want to point out one thing. I did put um, in the chat box um, our website, rrc-mi.com. Um, if you're interested in joining, you can go to our website. You can cruise around and see everything that the chamber does, um, all the benefits um, of joining. And then I also put our vice president, um, Maggie Bobbitts, who's on the call. Maggie, give a wave. Um, and I put um, her email address and phone number in there as well. And you can contact um, Maggie directly as well about joining the chamber. And Pamela, if you'll quit sharing your screen, mm -hmm. I want to just point out one more thing um, that we've been doing, not one more, but a couple of things that we've been doing to help our members. So this is our YouTube channel. One of the things that the chamber embarked on in December when our restaurants were um, shut down again is the great takeout campaign. So we wanted to help our restaurants um, as best we could and drive business to you. So we embarked on the great takeout campaign where we started going uh, around and shooting videos. And if you go under the video tab, you can see all the videos. We've got all of our recorded webinars here that we've done over the past year, keeping our members informed about all the resources and programs, the idle loan and the PPP and all the Oakland County Stabilization Grant, we were doing webinars weekly, connecting our members with these resources. Um, but you'll also see all 